How long has it been since you've watched a really good film? There are times when you have to sit through a film that is so mediocre, it just seems to go on and on forever. And when you turn around to make a comment, your friend is actually enjoying it. It's hard to sit through a two-something hours of pure boredom, but there are ways you can pass the time inside the theater without getting bored. It might not do a lot, but it's sure to make you less bored and put your creative skills to good use. So, let's take a look at the ways to pass the time when you're forced to watch a movie that basically sucks. You did everything in your power not to watch that new Will Ferrell movie because you knew you wouldn't like it. Yet, here you are with popcorns in your hand and searching for your seats. You can't run out of the theater now, so why not try to enjoy it? You don't have to like the whole thing. You might just appreciate the music, or the use of the color, or maybe even the performances. Find aspects that seem interesting and try focusing on them. Sooner, you'll find yourself being anything but bored. If you're watching a movie that's making you yawn, but your partner really likes, then try finding out what is it that they love about it. Observe the reactions of those around you. Do they laugh or cry? What caused this specific reaction? You might find yourself sharing a valuable experience or learning how your friend's emotions work. Even if you still think that the movie was boring, you'll still have a lot to say when it's time to talk about it. Hundreds of people are involved while making a movie. And even if you don't like the outcome, there will always be aspects that you can pay attention to and find interesting. Noticing the movement of the camera, the shots, or even the scores are things that might make your experience of watching a boring movie a little more bearable. Almost every movie wants to make the audience relate to the characters. It may not succeed 100% of the time, but it is an admirable effort. During the screening, you can try to think of how your life is similar to the main characters, or in what ways are you different. You can even imagine how you would react if you were in the actor's place on a certain scene. These different possibilities might give you the chance for your own introspection. You tried so hard to enjoy the film, but you failed. If the main characters seem flat and uninteresting, why not try to make your own story? It might not have to do with the main characters, but with the smaller ones, like a friend or a neighbor or even the villain. Try to imagine their stories. What would they do if they were in the place of the protagonist? Answering these questions can be a rewarding and creative exercise that will help you pass the time. There is another way to have fun. You can try to guess the plot, find the real murderer, or see if the two main characters end up together. The more complex the plot, the more fun the game. The only catch is, it might end up ruining the whole experience or give you a rewarding feeling on your storytelling abilities. If you tried all of the above ideas and still find the movie unbearable, then you can simply play little games by yourself. You can count the number of times the character says I love you or the number of times they eat something. You can also try naming the random background actors. It'll be fun, trust me. If you are sure you're gonna hate the film, you can be a film critic for a day. Bring a pencil and a paper and write down what you liked and hated about the film. You can also keep notes on things like direction, cinematography or the acting. Even if you hated the movie, you can elaborate and make something exciting out of a negative experience. However, if none of these works, congratulations, you just successfully wasted a few hours of your life. You're never getting back. If you like our videos, feel free to drop your comments. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to be notified.